Anytime we get heavy rain, we know that Old Town Alexandria has the chance to flood, and that is exactly what happened last night during high tide. The next high tide is just after noon today, so let's check back in with our Marcella Robertson, who is in Old Town. And Marcella, you've been out there all morning, and looks like uh, the water continues to rise right behind you. Yeah, and you see how quickly things can change out here in Old Town, especially impacting the businesses that are closest to the water. Uh, about 30 minutes ago, this was not underwater at all, but now we've come back here. This is along Union and Prince Street uh, here in Old Town, Alexandria. And I want to show you here just from where I'm standing at least six, seven inches of rain. This is really the curb right here, and it's really hard to even tell the difference between the curb and the street. So just a significant amount of water that we're dealing with right here. Uh, again, you can take a look a little bit further down straight ahead. That is where we were standing earlier for our live shots about, I would say, an hour and a half ago. And now this entire area here is, is completely covered underwater. This is a, a stretch here, a little bit of parking. And you can see if you turn uh, over this way uh, close to the water, really even hard to see the difference where it's usually a sidewalk and it, it, almost no difference between the water just pouring in here and that gate that typically again is is paved and where you're able to walk so it really just gives you a sense of how quickly things change and i do want to mention right we're not even in high tide yet that is not supposed to happen until about 12 o'clock a little bit afternoon today so certainly um, as we got that another burst of rain and it's really been coming in waves here looks like the skies are clearing up just a little bit but it got really dark again rain for i would say 30 30, 35 minutes straight and this is what we've ended up with here now. So again, we're going to continue to monitor things out here. I know some of the businesses again closest to the water are closed today here in Old Town as they continue to wait uh, to wait this out and to, to see when all of this wraps up. Back to you. I know. Marcella, thank you for that. Al. I know that's an area prone mm -hmm. to flooding, but it still is so incredible to see it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well,